Good morning, everyone, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, welcome to Fraud Watch Network from AARP. I'm your AARP Fraud Watch volunteer, Ed Michaels. And joining me today, I'm very delighted to say, is Liz Buser, who is Senior Advisor on Fraud Prevention Programs for AARP on a national level. Uh, welcome, Liz. Thank you so much for having me, Ed. So delighted to be here. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Thank you very much. Neither of us is really wearing green, so uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to remedy that later in the day. But anyhow, um, the reason I asked Liz to become involved today is because um, we've had a lot of comments, or I've had a lot of comments, revolving around the AARP Fraud Watch Network uh, webpage and the fact that um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to uh, find your way around it because there's just so much information throughout this page. I mean, it's, it's, sometimes it can be almost overwhelming, even for me when I'm going on there and looking for stuff. So that's why I've asked Liz to join us today, and she's going to take us inside the pages. And again, we can't cover everything in this 15 minutes, but we're going to try and hit some of the high points. So whenever you're ready, Liz, let's give it a fire up, huh? Perfect. It is up and ready to go. So hopefully you can see it on your end. There it is. I've got it. So, first of all, before we get too far into it, I want to point one thing out, uh, Liz, and that is right there under the big about sign is that this is available in Spanish. So, if uh, English is not your first language and you need to access this information, it is there for you. Um, Absolutely. And aarp.org slash fraude is the, the vanity link. Um, for the Spanish, otherwise the English one is aarp.org slash Fraudwatch Network. Okay, well, one of the first things I wanted to dig into is the scam map. But before we do that, you want to just can you just give us a quick scroll down the page, and we can just see the the extent of all the information that's just on this kickoff page. And and people will notice that as we go down, there's a lot of links in all of these things that are in blue that are going to take you to even more stuff. So um, as I've said before, there's just just a staggering amount of information here. And we're just going to just touch the, the very highlights today. So um, going up to the top, one of the things that people ask me about the very most, well, I'd say my number one top question is what kind of scams are going on in my area? And Scam Map is the way we can track that, right, Liz? It is a great resource, and this is a place where you can uh, see scams that were reported in your area in real time, um, so you can see what was reported by others, or if you've spotted a scam, you can submit a report there, too. So let's see, how would we go about doing that, and how does this all work? Sure. So let's first take a look at um, the map itself, and if you want to see what scams have been reported in your area. So Okay, well... Um, Let's put in my zip code, okay? That's your 66210. 66210, okay, there perfect. There it is. And folks can also enter a keyword if they want. They can change the radius uh, too. They can also fiddle around with the date range. They can select the scam type um, as well as contact method. Um, so we're just gonna keep this pretty general. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit search. And what it does, as you can see, Ed, is um, you can see there's quite a few scams that have been reported uh, to the map in your area. Mm -hmm. Now, what do all these blue numbers mean? Uh, I assume that's a location, but what does that tell us about anything? So the blue dot is a specific uh, location, a zip code, and the number is the number of reports that were reported to that zip code. So to take a look at what has been reported, you can either click on the number and then that will say, you know, there's three reported scams in this area and you can click on the hyperlink to see the details below in the map. And as you can see right now, it defaults to the date that it was uh, reported. Um, so let's view the details and you can see this one was reported on January 3rd. You can see the scam type. Um, in this case, it's insurance slash Medicare. Um, the person was targeted by phone. You can see a zip code here as well as the amount lost. 
um, and then additional details um, on what was reported. And what I also really like here is that, for example, since this is um, insurance slash Medicare related scam, you can click on that link. Um, it'll bring you to a tip sheet that talks about that specific scam. So that's the first way you can kind of see the results. Um, the other way that you can see the results, if you don't want to click on a particular area, you can just scroll on down. And these are all of the scams that have been reported within that 20 mile radius. And you can take a look at the details uh, this way as well. So it's it's a great tool, Ed, um, and, and one that is helpful to folks. You can see there's over 36,000 active scam reports. Wow. Well, I really like that, that uh, ability to click on the related scam information too, because that, uh, that again, helps us navigate this page all that much better. Um, so what else are there? Are there other ways that, um, that reporting should be done other than just, uh, typing on this page or ways to, to get, um, uh, you know, not everybody's really comfortable with, with a lot of typing and work on online. What, what other ways are available to us? Absolutely. So I should have mentioned that if you want, if you've spotted a scam and you want to submit a report, you just click on that yellow button and you can include all of that information there. Um, but as you said, Ed, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you want to talk to somebody rather than use the technology. So we have a wonderful resource called the AARP Fraud Watch Network Helpline. Um, and you can give them a call. Their phone number is 877 908-3360. And um, it's a place where you can go if you want to report a scam. Um, or maybe if you think you or a loved one um, has been targeted by or fallen victim to a scam and you want help kind of getting through the next steps and you want to report it, you can call our helpline for that. And we have about 100 trained staff and volunteers who answer the phone. They're there Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. And they are, it's a judgment-free zone and they will help you through every step of the way. They're a wonderful resource. They're great people. I've talked to them before. And also, I might add, you said a key word there, which is free. This is a toll-free number. And there's also no charge for accessing this and talking to these people. So, um, And you don't have to be an AARP member, which I also want to want to point out. There's no charge on this. This is AARP doing the good work for people. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I just want to add to, you know, not only is it a free resource for anybody, whether or not you're an AARP member, but you don't need to be a certain age um, in order to access any of our uh, wonderful resources. Okay. Well, uh, Liz, we've, we've spent some time here, but we got a lot more to cover. So I'm going to suggest we back out of this and start taking a look at um, the pages that are available to us that has specific information on various scams. Um, but before we get to that, can you tell me a little bit about how that information is gathered and how it's put together and what we're going to be looking at here? So the Fraud Watch Network website, you know, to illustrate your point, Ed, there is a lot of information here, but we'll cover the, the most important information. And then I encourage you to go to the website and take a look at everything that's there. So um, one of the things I just wanted to highlight again is our uh, Fraud Watch Network helpline. And if you want to learn more about the helpline, you can click on that link and it'll bring you up to a page that talks more about um, our toll-free service that's available. Um, so that's one resource I wanted to flag. Um, we also offer free online support sessions um, in conjunction with Volunteers of America. We have an online uh, support group. It's another free resource um, and it's for people to get emotional support. You know, we hear, as I'm sure you do, Ed, um, that, you know, obviously it's it's so painful to, to lose the money, um, but actually the emotional impact of victimization is um, oftentimes a, a lot worse. And so the support group is a great resource for that. Um, and then all you'll do when you go to this page is you can scroll down, learn more about the program. And if you decide you want to participate, it'll just have you leave the AARP website, 
And then you can just set up a free account um, via Hey Peers. That's how we hold our sessions. And you can take a look at all of the different sessions we have coming up. We encourage you uh, to participate, either you or a loved one. So that's another resource I wanted to highlight, Ed. Very good. Yep. So what do you say we go in and take a look at uh, what kind of uh, depth of information is available to us? Sure, absolutely. Well, one thing, as you can see on your screen, and I, um, I'm i sure folks have heard about it, is you can sign up for our free biweekly watchdog alerts, and you can have the latest information um, on scams that are out there sent either directly to your email, um, or you can sign up for text alerts. And so you'll just click on the link, um, simply enter in your information, and we will uh, email you or text you every two weeks. Um, with the latest information about scams that are out there. Not to mention Fraud Watch Network every third Friday, Fraud Watch Fridays from here in the Kansas City area. Um, so anyhow, let's go on and look at the Fraud, Fraud Resource Center because that's one of my favorite places to go on here. I am with you there, Ed. And a, a little um, nugget of trivia for folks if you find the Fraud Watch Network website to be a little overwhelming and you like the content that you see here on the Fraud, Re Fraud Resource Center, um, the shortened URL for that is aarp.org slash FRC for Fraud Resource Center. Great. Okay, so taking a look at this site, um, it highlights, as you can see on the screen, of course, we talk about how you can sign up for the alerts, how AARP helps you, how you can reach out to the helpline. Um, but we have a dedicated staff writer who focuses on fraud for AARP. And so when you go to our Fraud Resource Center, the first thing you will see is there's a lot of articles about the latest scams in the news. For example, the FTC released data a week or two ago that talked about how $8.8 .8 billion was lost to scams uh, last year, and that's just what was reported. So we have an article on that. We also have uh, articles that focus on, you know, mail theft. It's tax season, so you know, scams to watch out for during that time. Uh, tips for avoiding fraud when donating to charities. Um, different scams uh, that are prevalent in 2023. As you can see, our staff writer also interviewed the Attorney General recently. We've got some information on timeshare exit scams and how to avoid those. And there's also information here for you or a loved one if you've fallen victim to a scam. You know, one of the things we want folks to do is change how we talk about scams. We want to change mm -hmm. the narrative um, because really a scam, it's a crime that was committed against somebody. So let's stop blaming the victim. So we have information Absolutely. on that. And then information on elder financial exploitation. And then after that, we land on our Fraud Resource Center, which... Um, has a, more than 80 tip sheets on the latest scams that are out there. And it is certainly very thorough. Um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find um, an area or, where scams are being uh, perpetrated that isn't touched on somewhere in here. So what do these look like when you, uh, you hit these links, Liz? Well, I know, um, Ed, we were talking before this and you had mentioned it's that time of the year, spring break, folks are going to be traveling. So let's take a look at public Wi-Fi scams. So when you click on one of the tip sheets, you'll see a couple things. So first of all, as uh, you had mentioned before, Ed, of course, if you need it in Spanish, you can click on uh, the En Español link but we'll go back to English for, for the purposes of this discussion. Um, so our tip sheet starts off by talking about the scam and it provides an overview of it. And then after we provide that overview, sometimes there's a video that can help you uh, learn more information about the scam. So you'll see in this case, uh, we have one. And then you'll learn the warning signs. You know, we always like to say, if you can spot a scam, you can stop a scam. And so knowing what red flags to look out for um, is super helpful. So we focus on that. And then, I, I would add it there, if you, if you don't mind, just a second to just say, you know, folks, if you're traveling with your kids or your grandkids, 
Um, and they're in the airport. They're going to be using their phones as they always do, as I always do when I'm waiting for a, uh, a flight. We should make sure that they're used to these warning signs and know what to look for so that they aren't drawn in because um, they can be scammed just as easily as anyone else. Absolutely. Ed. Anybody is a target, no matter what the age. So I'm so glad you brought up that it's important that all of us, you know, whether we are, you know, 10 or 100, that we know um, how to be safe. So we have the warning signs. Uh, you've also have some information on how to protect yourself from this particular scam. And you'll find information like this on every one of those links that you saw previously. So I, you know, I encourage folks to get on there and look about them and read. Um, I know that they've helped me on a number of occasions where I was able to track something right down the list of what to look for and realize that I was being scammed. So very helpful stuff. Um, we're really running short on time now, Liz. So I'm going to ask, is there anything else you'd like to, to mention before we wrap this up? Sure. So I just wanted to note too, each tip sheet has a section called more resources. So we kind of walk you through the next steps for additional resources that you should check out. But, you know, going back to the Fraud Watch Network website, again, let me just go to that. It's aarp.org slash Fraud Watch Network. Take a look at it when you have the time, but really keeping in mind that the helpline is here to support you, that we have the Fraud Resource Center, you know, um, sign up for the watchdog alerts. We even have a podcast called The Perfect Scam. You'll find a link to that from the Fraud Watch Network website as well, you know, and also connect with us on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter. There's an online community. And we even have information available uh, to make sure that our veterans and their families stay safe from scams. And, you know, just take a look, aarp.org slash Fraud Watch Network. Yep. And this Fraud Watch, um, this Fraud Watch uh, Friday is also broadcast on YouTube. So you can refer your friends to it. It's on for the forever now, once now that we're on online. So, um, that's about it for today. We're really running short on time. So I'm going to thank you again, Liz, for being part of this. It was very helpful, very informative, and I sure hope people take advantage of it. Well, thank you for having me, Ed. And remember, folks, if you can spot a scam, you can stop a scam. That's right. And folks, be careful out there, okay? Thanks. <laughs>